the sites there. Now, do you ever feel that you're just not keeping up with the 20th century, that your life is being controlled by big brother computers? Well, then think again, because 1978 could be the year you get your own back. Because if, like me, you're distinctly suspicious of computers, especially other people's, the answer is, buy your own. Well, this spring, two home computers have come onto the British market. And instead of costing thousands of pounds, they cost as little as 499 pounds. Now, they've already been launched in the States, and they're selling there in their thousands each month. So, what do you get for your money? Well, first of all, this is the one that costs £499. It's the Tandy computer. As you can see, there's a small television set here, a little keyboard here to type out your messages, and here is just a little cassette recorder, the sort of thing any of us would have in the home, with an ordinary little cassette inside. Alongside it here, is the PET computer. Now, this one costs a bit more. It's £695, but you can see why. Um, it's all in one piece. It's more sophisticated. It can remember much more than the other one. But now it's uh, waiting for me to see if I can operate it. And I suppose this really is the test, because if I can operate this, anyone can. We've um, put a, a, a biorhythm uh, program in here already. There's my name date of birth and today's date, and I'm going to find out whether I'm in a fit state to tell you about computers. I just press that. There we are. You can see the graph beginning to form there. And there's the physical graph coming in. Seems quite good. The emotional there, a bit low. Intellectual middling, which means I might get half of this right and I'll get the other half wrong. Now, I want to cancel this, prepare it for something else, um, and I'll just show you what I do. I press, let's just put this down for the moment, the stop, the return, and then the shift and stop together. And there we are, and I press that. What's happening now is that there's another tape in here. This computer is searching for the information on here, and I'll tell you more about that in just a moment. It takes a few seconds, you see, for it to amass the information that's on the tape. On here, we've already got a tape ready for me. This is an example of the sort of thing that um, these computers are used for. 30% of them are used um, in industry to look after and operate machines. The other 30% are used in schools and colleges. Now, here we've got um, math drills. So I press number four, see what happens. Enter it in, nearly forgot. Now it says, what do you want to do? Well, I think I'll multiply, so let's press three. Let's enter it in. Now it says, what is the level of your skill? Are you average, whiz, or genius? Well, it's got to be genius, isn't it? Right, enter that in. And there we are. <laughs> and there are the sums that I'd have to do. 38 times 831. Well, I've no idea. But let's see what happens if I just give any answer. I'm just sticking in any old answer here right so that it will tell me if i'm going wrong and there we are no. wrong 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 your score zero percent but at least it does give me the right answers and then if um, i leave that that will go back now to um, another run meanwhile i can go and show you what's happening here it's more complicated here you are here's a trig question for youngsters it's telling me um, the angles of B, the angle of A, it wants me to tell the angle of C. Well, let's just guess. Let's see, it's 23 degrees. Enter it. No, it says try again. Okay, 55. No, it says try. I wonder what it is. 55, 35, I think it is. No, try again. What is the answer? 35. Very good. There we are. I got it right. <laughs> Meanwhile, let me just show you, here's another one. I mean, that's examples of use in education. But of course, it can also be used in the home or in business to help you with money problems. And here, yeah, I've got to put another tape in. So I must um, cancel this. Load, it says. So let's now press stop. stop, someone's telling me. Which stop? This one. There we are. Now I can lift this out. It's a good job I've got somebody prompting me over there. Otherwise, I'd never get it right. There we are. Press play, and I'll leave that for the time being, and that will carry on. Back here, I've got another business problem. It says number three will give me an example of business. So there we are, number three. Enter that in, and just wait for a second. 
Now, this one is going to pose the problem of what do you do if, say, you're a decorator, you've got a room of a certain size and you want to know how much carpeting, how much paintwork you're going to use. Well, then you'll just um, add all the information here. It's 12 feet long, it's uh, 14 feet wide, it's, uh, say, 10 feet high. And there you are, it tells me I want uh, one and a half gallons of paint and 18 square yards of carpet. There are masses of other examples I can give you. I've got all these here with games, all sorts of things on them. Uh, for the sake of speed, some of what I've shown you obviously could be done on a pocket calculator. And it may seem little more than a rich man's toy, but they do do much more sophisticated and complex work that obviously would have taken me hours to explain. Obviously, they are very attractive at present to schools, colleges, small companies as well. But soon you'll be able to link them to the telephone system and the GPO's view data bank. And that'll be good news for us housewives, because uh, without leaving our kitchen, we'll be able to trace and find the cheapest prices in town via our computer. Remember, prices are bound to come down further as they did with the pocket calculator. And that means in the long run, a lot of families, as well as a lot of businesses, will benefit from yet another example of space age technology. David.